Hello everyone, it's Mark Chalero, the owner of MS Classic Cars, and today I'm here with Carl Almeida. For anyone that does not know, Carl has been with MS Classic Cars from the beginning. Uh, he's a great friend. Uh, he's done great things with me over the years. Uh, we do all the auctions. You might recognize him from Barrett Jackson, etc. But today, uh, what we're going to do is we're going to do a quick electronic paint meter presentation on the car. Once again, we do this just to show people that a vehicle does indeed have all of its original factory paint. And then Carl's gonna jump into the car with Corey, go for a nice ride down Route 6 in Seekonk. We got a beautiful day. Uh, so what we're gonna do uh, is get a little closer here. Um, this paint meter, the way that it actually works um, is it registers uh, whether or not a car has had paint work and depending on who the manufacturer is, year, make, model, it does differ from car to car. But on a Mercedes-Benz or most vehicles that are new, uh, you'll typically see readings between three and six, somewhere in that range uh, is what we find. And what you wanna do is you just wanna uh, test each panel just to document that it has not been painted. Now this car, uh, just to reiterate, this is a 2014, it's a Mercedes-Benz, it is an E63. The 63 was the Mac Daddy of the Mercedes-Benz, it still is, uh, through the whole model lineup. Uh, this is an S, it's a, uh, obviously it's a 4MATIC wagon. Uh, you can read all the details on our website at msclassiccars.com. Carl is a huge, huge fan of wagons. Matter of fact, out in the parking lot, you guys might see it in the video, um, he has a Mercedes-Benz uh, wagon that he drives as his daily driver. He's always wanted uh, an AMG Mercedes wagon. Uh, it was the perfect car for him because it was the right color. It had the right color interior. Um, it was in the right condition, etc. So he purchased it a few years back. Uh, he called me uh, a couple weeks ago uh, and said, hey, listen, I want to sell uh, the Mercedes Benz. Uh, would you help me do it? As everybody knows, we don't offer consignments at MS Classic Cars, but in this case, because it was Carl, I felt extremely uh, comfortable uh, listing it through our company because it is truly a spectacular car. So come a little closer here. You can see on the hood, it's in absolutely magnificent condition. We only have a couple of tiny, tiny little chips. And again, these chips can be touched up if somebody wants to do that, it's no big deal. But if you look at this car, you look at the windshield, you look at the panoramic sunroof, you will see that it is in absolutely beautiful condition. It truly could pass as a vehicle that's one or two years old. It's that nice. Now, Carl is a stickler. What he did, if you read in our description, is he went to a body shop that we do a lot of business with. These guys paint cars that are literally worth hundreds of thousands of dollars. He had them remove the front bumper from the vehicle and he had them paint it and he made sure that it matched perfectly. So this is a beautiful matching paint job. This is metal, this is plastic, okay? It's just the plastic bumper that he had painted and he did that simply because of road rash. If you go out and look at any vehicle that's one years old, two years old, five years old, they get road rash. It just happens like a couple of those little tiny specks on the hood. So he had this all painted, so this is extremely fresh and looks brand new. Uh, so let's make our way around the vehicle. I'll point out any imperfections if I see anything at all, but this is the paint meter here. Again, 3.5, that is 100% original factory paint. Look at these lenses. You see no road rash on these lenses. Okay, the guys in the detail room did a beautiful job cleaning this vehicle. By the way, we also put a G-Technic Platinum ceramic coat on this vehicle. We normally charge about $1,500 to do that. Um, it comes with its own carrying case and other supplies. Uh, we did register it, so it does have G-Technic's warranty and so forth, but remember that this car has been ceramic coated as well. But come over to the other side, look at the driver's side fender here. Again, absolutely beautiful. There's zero imperfections, no dings, no dents. And look, we got a 4.5 all original factory paint. Check out these wheels. The wheels are in beautiful condition. There's no uh, curb rash on these wheels. Uh, Carl did put new tires on this car. Um, you can see those red, huge AMG brake calipers and those drilled and slotted rotors. Again, we got the V by Turbo emblem here, black mirrors. Again, look at this windshield. A lot of times when you get cars that have 50, 60, 70, 100,000 miles on them, you get a lot of road rash. There is virtually no road rash on this 
glass here, all the seals are nice. This car clearly was garaged its whole life. Now you'll see in the description that Carl did wrap some of the stainless trim with black just to give it that little more stealth appearance, door handles and so forth. Um, but check out this door. You get a 5.5. Again, I'll do it down here. Six, okay, all original factory paint. Making our way over to the back. Again, these windows have been tinted here, but again, absolutely beautiful condition. There is not even a speck. And when I say a speck, I'm talking about something, even if it was the size of a pencil tip and I saw it, I would point out here, I don't see anything. It's that clean. Uh, once again, 6.5, we'll do this here, 5.5. So we're getting very consistent numbers here. Make our way over to the back, our rear quarter, another 5.5. And keep in mind, as I said earlier, this car does have a ceramic coat on it. Uh, sometimes that can even make a paint meter read just a little bit higher. Uh, but look at this wheel here. Again, no road rash on this wheel. There's zero imperfections on it. It's in beautiful condition. Once again, new tires. Big, huge red AMG calipers. Making our way over to the back. Now in the description it states, prior to Carl purchasing the vehicle, the rear bumper was again painted. That's very common, especially with wagons when people are putting things into the back. They're scratching this top piece and everything else. Uh, so that was done in California from the previous owner. They did an awesome job matching this. You would never tell in a million years. Again, this is plastic. Okay, this is not metal. This car has all of its original factory paint, anything that's metal, 6.5. Again, very consistent. When we get over to the back here, again, you can see some of the emblems, the black Mercedes-Benz emblem. Again, the bumper is flawless. The rear deck lid is flawless. I'll just show you here, 5.0. Make our way over to the passenger rear quarter, again, I would describe this as flawless. This could pass for a car that is seriously six months old that is that nice. Again, look at the lenses, how crisp they are. You can go on the internet. You can look at many other cars. You can look at other wagons. Uh, you, again, find a car that's white. Find a car that has this color interior. Find something that's been decorated like this car. Find something that somebody's actually done a paint meter presentation on, something that has a clean Carfax report. Again, look at the underneath of this car. Go back on the internet, find undercarriage photos of E63s and look at what they look like and then look at what the undercarriage of this car looks like. You clearly will see the difference and keep in mind, we don't do dry icing here, okay? So it's not like we dry ice this car underneath. That was just a little bit of elbow grease underneath and a few seam cleaners and you can see how nice it looks. But making our way over to the Passenger rear door, again, 5.5. Everything is really consistent. Here we, once again, look at this wheel. There's zero road rash. Again, beautiful rims, big brakes. Uh, I'll do another meter here, 5.5. Again, I don't see one single imperfection, not even a scratch, chip, or anything on this car. It is absolutely spectacular, even the panoramic roof is spectacular, the roof rails, everything here. Look at these seals. I'm not trying to oversell it, I'm just being honest here, telling you what I see. Again, here's the paint meter on the passenger door, 5.5, again, very consistent. So if this car had had paint work, it'd be showing numbers 10, 12, uh, 20, things of this nature, um, again, okay? Very consistent numbers, just like it was on the other side. Again, this passenger door here is absolutely flawless. When we get over to the passenger front fender, again, it is flawless. Okay, 4.0. So we're, I'll do one more here on the hood, 4.0. So that gives you a really good overview of how clean this car is. You know, the pictures look awesome, but sometimes seeing it in a video uh, really showcases a vehicle using the paint meter documents that it does have original paint. Before we shut this uh, video off, because there's gonna be a lot of people that probably have never even seen somebody do a paint meter presentation, I wanna walk you over here real quick. Uh, we only have a few cars in the showroom. We just got back from Barrett Jackson. We sold a collection. We're filling up the showroom here as we speak. Uh, but this is a car that we're actually putting on Bring a Trailer next week. One of the best 69 Chevrolet Camaro Copos in the country. I just want to show you what a paint meter does to a car that has been 
body worked and painted as this car here has. There you go, 13.0. Okay, if I do it to this car over here, which is a 68 Camaro that we also have currently on Bring a Trailer, 14.0. That would be a car that has had paint work. You clearly saw the numbers on that one. Make sure to check out the clean car facts as well. So it's time for Corey and Carl to jump in this car, take it down Route 6 in Seekonk. We always appreciate everybody's interest in the vehicles here at MS Classic Cars. If you have not signed up for our VIP newsletter, please do so. Please follow us on social media. We really appreciate it. One day, hopefully, we'll learn your business. Thanks for watching, and as always, rock and roll. going over showing any imperfections on this 2014 Mercedes E63 S formatic wagon uh, video should be right before this one and taking it up for a quick spin with Carl Yeah, <laughs> thank 
<laughs> it's been a great car. Just never really used it much. Mm. I think I put just a little over what, 2,000 miles in four years. That is pretty crazy. One day I want to own one, but eventually. You know, I think I told you, uh, my second vehicle as a kid was a 1980 Mercedes 280 TE wagon, European model. It was a six cylinder with a automatic transmission. It was an orange color with a, like a light coffee milk color with cloth interior. That was my second vehicle as a kid. So is that what you got? What got you into the wagons? I think that's how I got hooked up on wagons, but Mercedes wagons. Oh yeah. And I also was the used car manager at BD Mercedes. I worked at the same dealership as Mark many, many years ago. It's funny how small the world can be. So my daily driver is a Mercedes wagon. I have three of them. I use them like a truck. <laughs> Not the AMG though. <laughs> Not the AMG one, no. You can definitely tell you, you took care of it, that's for sure. I pretty much took this to uh, some, some car shows, some car meets. Um, pretty much only in the summertime. Or really nice weather. Never drove it in the rain. Always kept it in my climate control building. Put a plastic car cover over it. So a couple of months ago, I brought it over to uh, Vita Mercedes service and a complete check over which is the invoices in the photo gallery and all the guys in service which some of them I know they all came over they couldn't believe the condition of this car so when you look at a car that's what it's, it's 10 years old 10 years old yeah. 10 years old it's got 82,000 miles 82,475 miles and you look at the interior the body, the, the paint, the glass, as Mark mentioned, it's. I think it's the one of the nicest ones out there available. And it drives still nice oh, and smooth. I just put four new tires on it. I don't know, a couple of years ago. I guarantee whoever buys this is going to be extremely happy. That's true. Yeah. yeah. What was it? Twenty was twenty twenty one. I think the last year. Either twenty twenty one or twenty twenty two. 